Welcome to Damage Control, where we illustrate the real cost of corruption so that we all can understand it better and buy into the need to go beyond being outraged to become part of the agents for change. Damage Control is brought to you by Makato Foundation and CITAD. I am Dr. Damages. Corruption is not just about giving or taking money. Corruption is about not doing the right thing. And why are we corrupt? Because of lack of understanding. Because we do not understand that we don't need too much. So, the national coordinator of the Household Uplifting Program, Halima Shehu, said the other day that the federal government had paid 58 billion naira to 10,000 households in the bi-monthly program across the country. <laughs> now here is the headline from Punch Newspaper, so you, you know that I'm not making it up. Look at it. Yeah. Yeah, I know, right? How many times did you scratch your head? <laughs> 100, no, 10,000, no, what am I saying? 10,000 households collected 58 billion naira in two months. <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> It is either that the reporter of this story smoked Ibo or that the national coordinator herself, Shehu, smoked Ibo. Somebody did. But it points at a deeper problem. The federal government is just sharing money without accountability, no transparency, nothing. How do you share 58 billion in two months to poor people in Nigeria? In one year, that would be like 348 billion shared. How many poor people get this money? Nobody knows. How, where did they get the money from? Nobody knows. <laughs> Nobody. When you ask government officials, you get 1,001 different answers. Some say that it is from uh, loot recovered from PDP members. Some say it is from recovered abacha loot. You know? Others say it is uh, Malami's loot. Wait a minute. Who, who, Sasha, who wrote this crap? That news is yet to happen. Eh? It is the 2024 news that you are bringing to me now. How, 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 do you, how did we get there? Eh? Sasha, control your writers. Do these writers. Tell them. Control them. Control what they send to me. Anyway, <laughs> Punch newspaper story went on to say that 41,134 poor people in Adamawa State are already in the program. And there's an additional 23,124 people that are being added, making it a total of 64,268 people. If you give 64,268 people 10,000 Naira twice a month, you will spend 1.29 billion a month. Now, if you, spend, if you spend a similar amount across 36 states of the Federation, not minding who gave you 97% of votes or 5% of the votes during the election, it will come up to 46.3 billion a month for 2.3 million people. In a year, that will cost us 555 billion. <laughs> meanwhile, meanwhile, the number of extremely poor people in Nigeria is 40 million people. To give 40 million people 10,000 naira every two weeks, you need 800 billion a month. And that is 28.8 trillion a year. Think about that. That is more than twice of Nigeria's 2021 budget. Think about it. When it comes to Nigeria's government spending, it is all advanced abracadabra. The more you look, the less you see. Kafune fune diotua. Fune fune.